Even or odd. Yeah, we're talking about some, some symmetry properties of algebra and functions. All right, sure. So an even function is going to have this property that f of minus x is going to be f of x. What does that mean? That means symmetry across the y-axis. If we evaluate a function at x, we see its y value is f of x. OK. Conversely, if we evaluate it at minus x, that's also the same value. And that's what that says, that these two are going to be the same. Yes, that's how we get our symmetry property. Yes, an odd function is going to have this property. f of minus x is going to be equal to minus f of x. OK, that's symmetry across the line. y is equal to x. Yes, if I take a look at this man, f of x is right here. Yes. And then minus x is right here. What do you notice about these two? They're on opposite sides of that line. And that's what this says. Mm-hmm. That these two guys are going to be on opposite sides of the x-axis. OK. Why don't we get to some examples? OK, so we're looking for these properties on up in here. What do I want to do? I'm going to check this thing thing. Mm-hmm. I want to take a look and I want to try to find f of minus x. What does that mean? Everywhere I see an x, I'm going to put a minus x and I urge you use parentheses. OK, mm-hmm, minus 3 times a minus x squared plus, oh, wait for it, 2. Oh, take a look at this, man. If I had had something like that, yes. If I had had minus um, 3 to the fourth, just saying, right? You could see this as minus 1 times 3 to the fourth, which is the same as minus 1 to the fourth, 3 to the fourth. When you do this, bam, bam. So then what's that? Minus 1 to the fourth, it's 1. And you end up with 3 to the fourth. OK, what am I doing? I'm using that to justify this rationale. Mm-hmm. Minus x to the fourth is the same as x to the fourth? Yes. Why? Because the even power is going to, um, for lack of a better word, kill that minus sign. Mm-hmm. It's going to make it positive. Minus 3 times x squared plus 2. But what is that? That is f of x. So what do we have here? We have f of minus x is equal to f of x. So what do you say? Dot, dot, dot. Even. OK. On up here. Ooh, did you want boxes? Did you want flowers? Woo, woo, woo. Uh-huh. Up here, I want to perform that same type test. Yes. I want to look for g of minus x. Then I go when I throw that in there. This is this is minus x to the third minus five times minus x. Okay. So take a look at this man. For the same reason on the evens, the odd exponent is going to pass the negative out. I want to pass out. Oh, um, maybe you wanted to see it. Mm, no. Okay. I'm not. This is going to be minus x to the third. Why? Fine, I will. Um, if you had minus x to the third, that's going to be mm -hmm, minus x times minus x times minus x. OK, minus and minus mi minus make minus x to the third, which is what I wrote right there. OK, minus and minus make minus plus 5x. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, what do I want to do? I want to try to go and try to find the original function. Yes. And in order to do that, what I am going to do is I'm going to pull out a minus sign. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to pull out a minus. And then left over on the inside, I have x to the third minus 5x. But what is that? That's my original g of x. Oh, so I have minus g of x. So then it follows. g of minus x is going to be minus g of x. And because g of minus x is equal to minus g of x, we can say dot, dot, dot. That one's a little off. Um, so is he. No. Um, odd. Yeah, sure is. One, 
two, three, four. Whoop. Had to get that odd one in there. Yes. Now I'm up here. Oh, wait. I'm going to try that same dang thing. Mm-hmm. I'm looking for h of minus x. Yes. This is going to be minus x minus 5. Oh, boy. Maybe I want to try that same trick. Mm-hmm. Pull that minus out. This is x plus 5. Oh, wait a minute. It's not the original. Is this one even, either an even or an odd? An even. No. It's, um... Neither. I don't even know how to just, just, it's not. Not either. Doesn't even get a flower.